Ladies and gentlemen, Christina Lopez. Oh, welcome everybody. I'm gonna cut my speech a lot because we're coming to the tail end. Uh, but first of all, I'm gonna say that I'm a socialist feminist. I'm a member of the Freedom Socialist uh, Party. And I'm glad to be here with so many to talk about this issue. Um, and I wanna thank the organizers for putting this on and reaching out to people because I think that even though, you know, I would have liked to see a lot more people here and because when I started reading about this, I saw that this was an important issue. So everybody get the word out. I plan to do that when I get back to Seattle because the more people that know about this, I think we can build this movement and it's also an international movement. But I want to say I really support phasing out nuclear power because it is dangerous and I'm all for developing harm, um, energy that does not harm the environment. Um, I'm going to cut a lot from the speech because a lot of what I say here, I've actually heard other people say. I was really taken by Shannon's story. And when I told one of my friends, uh, Lois, that I was speaking here, she gave me her story. And, uh, you know, she told me that she was a downwinder. And along with all her family, and it turns out that, like Shannon, a lot of her family has uh, cancer. Her father died of leukemia, and she has two uncles that got cancer. And it's disturbing to hear all of these, um, to read about the radioactive that is leaking into the environment and then the Columbia River. But I want to say I was also astounded to see how much money the government is spending to clean up this area, and then billions and billions of dollars. And what is Bechtel Company doing? I, I think they're not doing enough. I think it's going to the profits of the CEOs, unfortunately, because with that kind of money put in the right hands, they can do what's right for this community. And I think in the end, the problem is that it's under the Bechtel corporations. I think it needs to be under the workers' control. They can decide, along with independent scientists that aren't in it for the money, they can decide which way to go forward. Do you ever think or worry about what could happen if nuclear waste is not stored in the optimal way? Look at the devastating events that happened in Fukushima. The drastic situation at Fukushima has exposed decades of government complicity in nuclear corporations, laxity and cover-ups. Is the same thing happening in Hanford? Yes. yes. I want to share with you a solidarity statement from Japan. It was sent by Jason Combs who lives in Japan and is a member of the Zenkuku Ipon Tokyo General Union. He has written about and protested with his union in Fukushima, where they had the biggest protest after, after that disaster that happened after the tsunamis. Here's his statement. We in Japan express our solidarity with the anti-nuke movement in the United States. As the Fukushima crisis demonstrates, as long as energy policy is left in the hands of those concerned only with short-term profits rather than human lives, our relationship with the environment, we will likely not see a world free, free, free from unsustainable, harmful sources of energy, and our days on the planet will surely be numbered only through the international solidarity and efforts of the 99% may we take back our planet and ensure the harmonious future for our species and our earth. Thank you, Jason. That was a totally, I totally agree with this. Let's reinvigorate re the international movement against nuke power. I have to say, are the, you know, since uh, why I'm running? Because frankly, the Republicans and the Democrats are not offering any support for the ban or are they holding the culprits accountable? Yeah, right. Not as far as I know. They are finally acknowledging the inconvenient truth about climate change. Well, most of them. 
But I don't like how climate change is used to, as an excuse to try to give new life to the nuclear industry. The Democrats and the Republicans are part of the problem. Their actions, in fact, show that their priority lies with propping up the profits of the 1% like the Bechtel Corporation. This is why I am running as a Freedom Socialist candidate for U.S. Vice President along with Stephen Durham, who is running for president. I urge everyone to look us up at www.votesocialist.com. In the campaign that demands phasing out nuclear power, make workplaces free of toxins, fund publicly owned renewable energy resources, create jobs by cleaning up the environment. I hope today that people will come to talk to me about the campaign or at least check us out. Vote for the greater good, not the lesser of two evils, because we all deserve to live in a world free of nuclear disasters. Let's hear it for a nuke-free war and no more wars. Thank you very much. Oh